Homecoming was a good day for the Wisconsin Badgers as they roll up more than 500 yards of offense en route to a 49-20 victory against the Illinois Fighting Illini. Another bizarre day weather-wise. They played through the snow and pretty strong winds throughout the course of the day, but that defense forcing five turnovers in the first half en route to an 18-point lead at the break and eventually a 29-point win. We'll hear from some of the victorious Badgers. Also here today from the kickoff specialist, Zach Hintz, who is an almost automatic touchback every time he kicks off. And we'll have our weekly sit down with head coach Paul Christ. All coming up on today's installment of the Badger Sports Report. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Snap to A.J. Bush, looking, throws over the middle. That's intercepted T.J. Edwards at the 50, 45 to the 40, 35 to the 30-yard line of Illinois and bumped out of bounds. Another interception for T.J. Edwards, the ninth of his career, matching him with the linebacker from the 80s, Craig Raditz. Edwards strikes again, first and 10, Wisconsin. Jumbo look, Crookshank motions to the right, jet sweep right, here's Crookshank at the 20, 15, to the 10, to the 5, breaks a tackle, touchdown Wisconsin! Aaron Crookshank from 23 yards away to the end zone, and it's 13 to nothing, Wisconsin. Well, first I got the ball, and then I seen Jack blocking the dude, so I was like, oh man, I think I might break this one home. Then I seen a guy from my peripheral, I was like, all right, I gotta slow down a little bit. And I finally got an end zone. I was like, I did it. I finally got one. The Illini 19, first and 10. Pryor, the single wide receiver to the left. The tight end, Penniston, motions to the left. Play fake, Hornybrook, floats it right side. Angle is open, got a touchdown, Wisconsin. Once again, Hornybrook to the fullback. Alec Ingold, second touchdown of the day for Ingold. One rushing, one receiving. Uh, I think it's just you, you got to be ready for those opportunities. There's always a few plays we have in every week where you could you could bust it for a touchdown. So um, I think it's just being ready for those opportunities every single time. Um, you know, some weeks you won't get any, and some weeks you'll get a bunch. So you just got to be ready for it. Elon Bonner is the running back. Snap to Bush. Badgers rush four. Bush hit as he throws. It's a floater, and it is intercepted by Evan Bontoc. Bounces to the turf inside the 45-yard line of Illinois. The Badgers got pressure on the quarterback, forcing a poor throw, and Bondock gets the interception. Shotgun snap to Rivers. Badgers bring in three. Rivers dancing to his right, and Van Ginkle wraps him up and takes him down. Andrew Van Ginkle gets to the quarterback. Tony Brook will give it the deal straight ahead, and Taiwan breaks through to the 30. He's gone. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Wisconsin. Taiwan deal, busting through the line, takes it in from 39 yards away. Something special because you see him in a pile, and you're like, All right, nice hard run, keep pumping your legs, and then he pops out the backside, and you're like, oh, go. So uh, it really gets us excited as a running back group. And uh, I know it gets Coach Sutto excited as a coach just to see uh, people come out the backside running through tackles like that. So it, it's always exciting. Bring it four, five, tight. Ball's tipped in the air, picked off by TJ Edward. And he's all alone. In zone, it is caught for the touchdown. To the 20, to the 10, five, touchdown, Wisconsin. Pressure, and he is sacked just outside the goal line. A big, big win for the Wisconsin Badgers. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is presented by Mercedes-Benz. Drive yours at Zimbrick European. And UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available ProPilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Is Gamulica. 
Wisconsinites. The spirit of Wisconsin. Eddie feels it. Kim embraces it. Even brother and sister get along. Friendship, warmth, and good cheer. That's Gamulakite, and that's Wisconsin. Walking into a dealership for a lot of people can be intimidating. Walking into Zimbrick, you may have that initial fear when you walk in, but once you start talking to the people, they make you feel very comfortable. I found Zimbrick to be a replica dealership. They customer oriented. They try to make sure they address your needs and not just sell you a vehicle. My experience with Zimbrick is that they are an excellent company to do business with. Lease the 2018 GLE 354 Matic for $6.19 per month. There is a boy who likes tractors and trains, a boy whose heart was far too strained. He was sick, you see, with a heart that broke. His heart needed fixing, his family needed hope. Enter our doctors with their newfangled tests. Enter our teams whose care is the best. Healthy and happy, the little boy's back, playing with tractors and trains on his track. UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. Badgers up seven and a threat on first attempt play fake Hornibrook looking shot play deep ball left side end zone shot by Jake Ferguson touchdown Wisconsin they go for it all coming off the turnover and they get it 49 20 the Badgers defeat Illinois on homecoming day Saturday at Camp Randall Stadium in a game that saw if not a little bit of everything a little bit of a whole lot including the weather in this game and when the wind's whipping around, I know we mentioned it, we asked you about it on your, on your radio show, the ball security, which is always an issue, but that really does become a challenge, doesn't it? It really was, and it was uh, it was a little bit of sleet, a little bit of hail, and the wind was going, and, and I thought we took advantage, you know, one we had where Evan Bondock did a nice job of knocking the ball out, we didn't get it, but it was uh, it was totally different. That, that game seemed like it had a <laughs> in a number of ways, a lot of different weather. You come out for the second half, and it was sunny and, and beautiful. But I thought the guys handled it and, uh, and did a good job throughout it all. And, and uh, I'm proud of the way they responded really the whole week from, from practice to playing, and uh, it was uh, good to win. You mentioned Evan Bondock, and we had a chance to chat with T.J. Edwards, who had a really impressive interception. I don't even know if we had to ask him. He brought up. As he says, my guy Bondi. You know, yeah. Evan, I, it's it's so cool when players are happy for one another, and everybody seems like it's happy for number thirteen. That is the good stuff, and it it was truly one of those where, you know, he's done so much and, and been around fifth year senior, and and to get an opportunity, and then to make good in those opportunities, it, it was fun to see, and uh, everyone had a lot of confidence in him, and and. You know, he works his tail off, has been for a long time. So then when an opportunity does come his way, it's not like all of a sudden he's got to scramble and what do I got to do? And uh, and that's neat to hear, you know, TJ, because it's uh, it truly is that, you know, even after the game, you know, we had him break it down and, and there was an extra juice with that. And, and you appreciate it. And all these guys appreciate what she one does. But then when you're someone like Bonnie that's consistent throughout it all and uh, – and then to see him come up and, and make plays, it's fun. I see, like one thing that this defense has been able to do here more in the last couple of weeks is get pressure on the quarterback. Right. Uh, you, you mentioned Evan knocking the ball out, getting an interception, TJ an interception, Alive, Song Apolu, but maybe a lot of that has to do, you're starting to heat up these quarterbacks a little bit. We, we have as of late, and that's been big, you know, it's, it's good getting Andrew Van Ginkle back, and, and Zach Vaughn showed up on one, and. And so we were able to get some pressure. And, and also, I think, you know, as you continue to grow and develop in the secondary, if you can just make them, you know, a couple of those were maybe not rhythm sacks, but kind of they're knocked off rhythm, and maybe that's because of the coverage, whatever that may be. It's, uh, it sure makes it different when you can put some pressure on the quarterback. And offensively, more than 500 yards, more than 300 on the ground. We were, you know, Mark mentioned to Mark Tauscher that the Jonathan, he had to really work for it. He got, he had a big day. He did. And then Taiwan Deal, another big day, gets 111 yards, which to me, that's, that's a pretty good story. It was too. big, and, and we can never get, you know, like you're talking about JT, and everyone's saying, and maybe sometimes himself to a point, but I think he's gotten better, but, you know, we've gotten grown accustomed to where's his big hit. And he had a couple of, you know, chunk plays, but, mm -hmm. you know, he's given us a ton. And 
And I think Taiwan, I love the way that he's played throughout the year. And, and I thought his the one run was a big run where he kind of took it and, and uh, up the middle and ran through and, and popped out the other end. And it's been good. And uh, certainly it doesn't just happen because of the backs. You know, the backs have been playing well. But I love what they've been doing up front. And, and uh, it's been good. It's I thought offensively we did a lot of really good things. And, and then we had a couple of miscues, you know, certainly the – a couple of the picks that you don't want to do. And I thought we weren't opportunistic early on some of the turnovers, but then we were able to answer a score with a score. And so uh, some really good and obviously enough that we got to continue to work and get better at You get a shot play to Jake Ferguson off of one of those turnovers, though. So if, if you don't cash in on one, your guys, you know, they, they, they might get mad or whatever, but they don't let it they don't let one issue become two and you're able to get back and get into the end zone. And I think that's, you know, I, I'm proud of that response. And I thought we did that defensively. I thought we did that offense. Even, you know, we had the, the punt that was a botched snap. And, and you know, I thought we rallied back from it. And it's, you, know, you got to learn from it. And you don't want those to happen, any of those negatives. But how do you respond? And, and I was proud of the response really throughout the game. As a football fan, I get excited every time Aaron Cruikshank gets the ball in his hands and he's able to get in on, on the jet sweep there. And you, you mentioned it close on a couple okay. of kick returns. But, you know, what a, a fun moment for a true freshman to come in. You've seen the toughness. Now you see what he can do with the ball in his hands. No, it was. And, and uh, actually, it wasn't until the replay. So I kind of kind of fought through mm -hmm. and, and, and broke a tackle and then uh, – I think that was the one where our receivers had the little orchestrated, which we, <laughs> I thought we got the flag. It was more of a warning and, mm -hmm. and um, another teaching moment. Absolutely, right? There. right? And so it was, uh, and they were, they handled it. They kind of looked at you like, I think they were going to do it and just don't orchestrate it. But it's, uh, it, you know what, though, they were excited for him and, and uh, that's still no excuse. <laughs> that's right. A, a teaching point. <laughs> it is. As a, but it, it, probably going to remind him again. You think? A teaching point, yeah. <laughs> but at the end of it all, a Big Ten win. We mentioned this two weeks ago. Big. Yeah. Allow yourself a chance to feel good about it for a while. It right? was. And, and, and it was. I was, I was happy and, and proud of their response, not just today and in, in the victory, but really how they came back from, you know, last week's game and, and – the practice and the preparation we had and so you want them to enjoy you know the moment the victory and then come back and and look forward to you know another Big Ten West opponent in Northwestern going down there it can be a tough place to play and but uh, before we get to that you just want the players to enjoy and appreciate all that went into getting a victory all right Badgers head down to Evanston and an 11 o'clock kick on Saturday as Wisconsin takes on the Northwestern Wildcats coach turns in a few minutes with the great day and great question of the week as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. Ever since she can remember, she's wanted to become a doctor, a surgeon to be exact. Maybe it's because she's good at science or because she loves math, or maybe it's because Lydia was born with a serious craniofacial anomaly, a cleft lip and palate that required a series of complex surgeries. And now she just wants to help others just like the surgeons at UW Health helped her. UW Health in the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. Um, I mean, that, that's pretty cool. That's a, kind of what you ask for in Wisconsin games. You know, a lot of snow and blowing winds and you know, it's, a couple guys said on the, on the sidelines, you know, old school traditional football, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, I think it kind of fueled us a little bit. Uh, I mean, the stadium started going wild. We were pumped up on the sidelines, and uh, we were kind of rolling when it started snowing, so I feel like it just kind of actually added fuel to the fire. Um, I thought it was fun, because you're not supposed to be able to throw in those kind of conditions, and um, we practiced in those a couple of times, but it, it does make a little bit of a difference, but I think it's, uh, Fun. I thought the guys, the guys enjoyed it. We think we got a good scheme. Um, what we saw on tape all week really came to life, but um, I think Coach Settle hit us on early was, um, you know, you, you don't score 49 just rolling out of bed. You know, you got to make it happen, so we were able to do that today. I think on defense we have to do a good job of trying to flip the field for the offense and putting them in positions to where it's, you know, makes them have a shorter field to go, and so we can't expect them to go 90 yards every, every drive and score. So whenever we can do that for them, it's, uh, it's kind of what we need to do. Uh, I think the biggest difference was was the energy guys going out there every 
every single play, uh, ready to get a touchdown on defense, ready to get a turnover, ready to get a stop. And I feel like that energy uh, converts into great gameplay. So just guys going out there with great energy and a great focus. A big part of this team right now is playing off of each other. Uh, we need to, you know, capitalize on every opportunity defense gives us the ball. And, you know, the defense has been doing a great job of that. So I think the next steps for, you know, our offense is really just feeding off that defensive energy. Um, just playing overall as a unit, as a team, you know, better ball. You know, as a defense, obviously turnovers are probably the number one thing you're looking for. And we knew that if we, you know, got a couple, we'd get some energy rolling. And uh, that's something Coach Leonard had on before the game. You know, so one guy make a play, and then we'll feed off that and keep rolling and keep rolling and keep rolling. I think that's kind of what happened. I think today we're just very opportunistic. I mean, we've had um, chances in past games to, you know, be making all these turnovers. We just really haven't capitalized yet. So. I think really we just were 100% as far as capitalizing today. I think one of the biggest things is making sure we don't let their hard work go to waste. So whenever they get a turnover, it's, it's our opportunity to go out there and put more points on the board, uh, kind of as a thank you, you know, for getting the ball back. So I think it's really important of getting points off of turnovers. Walking into a dealership for a lot of people can be intimidating. Walking into Zimbrick, you may have that initial fear when you walk in, but once you start talking to the people, they make you feel very comfortable. I found Zimbrick to be a replica dealership. they customer-oriented. They try to make sure they address your needs and not just sell you a vehicle. My experience with Zimbrick is that they are an excellent company to do business with. Lease the 2018 GLE 354 Matic for $6.19 per month. <coughs> <coughs> Flu season. It'll get here before you know it. Good thing it's never too soon to get your flu shot at Hy-Vee. Save yourself some worry and get your flu shot today. Plus, use your Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Plus Perks card and you can save 20 cents a gallon on gas. There's no appointment necessary, so why wait for the flu to get you? Visit your Hy-Vee pharmacy and get your flu shot plus your 20 cent Hy-Vee Fuel Saver discount today. Some restrictions apply. Did you know there's a Mahindra for everyone? And every job? Test drive and save during Harvest Demo Days. Like a 6075 four-wheel drive, a 9125, a 2538 or 2638 HST, and a 1526 or 1626 HST. And test drive Mahindra's utility vehicles too. Only from the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra. Hurry in for the best savings of the year at your Wisconsin Mahindra dealer. It's times like these, when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> To the Badgers kickoff unit, a touchback is the gold standard. In this season, Zach Hintz's right foot has had the golden touch. I'd say on a kickoff, I try to clear my mind as most as I can. Um, my approach, I like to keep it slow because anytime you try to get fast, you can make more room for error. Um, I like to, on my approach, keep my eyes along the sweet, sweet spot of the ball. Um, that's really basically it, and then it's from there, it's just all contact after that. Zach came in as a young man with a lot of raw talent. And what he's done over the last few years is refined it. He's always had the, the leg strength, but it was a matter of refining it, being able to control it. And he's a diligent worker, and it's showing up. For everybody that understands the game, I mean, field position's kind of the name of the game, you know, especially in the tie games. For hence, booming kickoffs, began with booting soccer balls in high school. I played soccer my freshman, sophomore year, and that's, I guess, what really got me into it. I joined the football team because the soccer team was kind of falling apart, and then I basically said, hey, I've played soccer, and let me see if I can, they're like, you can try kicking, so I did, and then they remember the coaches all looking at each other after, and they're like, well, we have our new kicker. Here's Zach Hintz again, just pounds it. This guy is a serious weapon. It's a kickoff, man. It's a great feeling. Um, I let, especially when the guys will come up and say thanks. I uh, really wasn't planning on hitting a guy, um, but I'd say my my golden moment was probably when we played Ohio State in the Big Ten Championship when I hit it off the uh, stand line, and I kind of I was like, whoa, that was that was a really good feeling, 
and everyone else is kind of like, dang. <laughs> I trust myself covering, but I think it's a lot better if they can, uh, no movement of the ball and just start on the 25. Probably relates a lot to golf swings. You know, it's easy to just get up there and rip it and try to hit it hard every time, but the ability to, to hit it hard, just like kicking it hard and control it, there's where the true skill comes. And Zach's done a great job with the consistency. I think his biggest thing is his leg speed. He's, he's always been a very athletic kid. You know, he played all sports in high school and did all those things. So for him to be able to just kind of put his athleticism into his technique and kind of trust him and be able to just cut loose and just swing as hard as he can, because he knows he's going to make that contact. I think that's very important. I think it really gives me um, like a way to kind of control my unit. Like it's, you rely on me to get it away from that returner. I mean, a lot of teams have really these really good returners. So especially if you can limit that aspect of special teams, it really helps our defense. It allows us to, to come out and execute what we've seen on film. Um, you know, situation and, and down the distance, where the ball is, is a big uh, component. The cool thing about it is his consistency. You know, he's done it just about every time, and um, I think that's really hard to ask of a guy, and he's been able to do it. So, you know, we appreciate it for sure. Zach Hintz with the kick, a leather heat ball backpedaling, and he'll catch it about eight yards deep, and it's yet another touchback. For the Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ, I'm Jay Williams. <laughs> Flu season. <laughs> It'll get here before you know it. Good thing it's never too soon to get your flu shot at Hy-V. Save yourself some worry and get your flu shot today. Plus, use your Hy-V Fuel Saver Plus Perks card and you can save 20 cents a gallon on gas. There's no appointment necessary, so why wait for the flu to get you? Visit your Hy-V pharmacy and get your flu shot plus your 20 cent Hy-V Fuel Saver discount today. Some restrictions apply. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> They are the ones who found a way to isolate a single prostate cancer cell hidden amongst a billion healthy blood cells. The ones pioneering advanced genomic testing in order to create personalized treatment protocols. They are the ones you want to talk to when the diagnosis is prostate cancer. They are the physicians and healthcare professionals at UW Health and the Carbone Cancer Center. UW Health, remarkable. The Learfield Directors Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is presented by High V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. High V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. And UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. Time for this week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week, and we check in with Larry up in lacrosse, wants to know, Coach, uh, do you game plan for weather, and if you don't, how much do you adjust within the game because of weather? Right, I think that, you know, you have to, uh, certainly weather is a real factor, and I think that the game plan, you need to have things within your game plan that should the weather get bad, you know, which we had a little bit, um, in the Illinois game. But I don't think you just say, okay, we've got weather, let's make this the game plan. I think game planning in general is you start by game planning your schemes against their schemes, and then you factor in their personnel and your personnel. Where you maybe have a favorable matchup, whereas a 
troublesome matchup that maybe you gotta, requires help or maybe takes you totally out of something else. And then weather certainly is a part of it, and, and you have to account for it. And so you can't just say all of your third down offensive plays are good versus what if the, the weather is in, you know, bad. And you can get a sense if the game's, you know, the forecast and, and whatnot, you want to make sure maybe it'd be a little bit heavier on those that if it was ideal conditions, mm -hmm. you wouldn't. But I think you have to factor it in. You have to have answers to it, but it's not the driving force. Certainly an interesting weather day on Saturday in Camp Randall. We'll see what's in store this week as the Badgers take on Northwestern. Great day with four locations in Madison, east side of town, downtown Fitchburg, as well as Hilldale. We're back at the Hilldale site Thursday night at 6 o'clock for the Coaches Radio Show. And great day up and running and going strong up in Wausau as well. An 11 o'clock kick, the Badgers with another early window in their game against Northwestern down at Ryan Field in Evansville. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Did you know there's a Mahindra for everyone and every job? Test drive and save during Harvest Demo Days. Like a 6075 four-wheel drive, a 9125, a 2538 or 2638 HST, and a 1526 or 1626 HST. And test drive Mahindra's utility vehicles too. Only from the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra. Hurry in for the best savings of the year at your Wisconsin Mahindra dealer. Walking into a dealership for a lot of people can be intimidating. Walking into Zimbrick, you may have that initial fear when you walk in, but once you start talking to the people, they make you feel very comfortable. I found Zimbrick to be a reputable dealership. they customer-oriented. They try to make sure they address your needs and not just sell you a vehicle. My experience with Zimbrick is that they are an excellent company to do business with. Lease the 2018 GLE 354 Matic for $6.19 per month. Progress is an endless challenge. Here at the University of Wisconsin, we're a community of innovators in constant motion. We think on our feet, connect with each other, and hit our stride, pushing past limits. Progress is an endless challenge, but it is only those up to the challenge who change the game.